Day two of the second Ashes test at Lords was red for Ruth Day, but it wasn't a great day for Nathan Lyon, Mark Taylor. This is a huge story out of today's play. Yeah, no doubt about it. The big story will be not just for this test match, but for the rest of the series. Where's Nathan Lyon's injury at? I suspect he's torn that uh, right calf, mm. which to me, I, I can't see him taking well, definitely no further part in this match, mm. but I think it puts the rest of the series in doubt. Uh, for Nathan Lyon, which is a big blow because he is has been a point of difference for Australia in this series. Obviously, England lost Jack Leach before the series. He's been their steadying spin bowler. Nathan Lyon been the leading wicket-taker the last couple of years in Test Match Cricket. So if he can't take any further part in this series, that's a massive blow from an Australian point of view. Yeah, huge story. And we'll await uh, updates from Cricket Australia on what the status is with that injury. Let's talk about the cricket that we saw today mm. from Australia's perspective. Was it a... You said in, during commentary that it was a little bit unusual what you were seeing. Tell me about that. It was a strange day, wasn't it? Um, we, we knew England would play their aggressive way, and they did. And Australia set similar fields. But in that last session there, we saw short balls. We saw six men on the fence. We saw only three guys the saving one. No catching men. Mm. It's strange cricket to watch. I, I don't particularly like it, to be totally honest. I, I see it as almost like the the death overs of a charity match almost, where you've got all these people on the fence. Uh, it's certainly different sort of test cricket, particularly on day two of a test match where you're, you're trying to set up the game. At the end of the day, Australia will be delighted they picked up some wickets, mm. which they did. The missed chance um, of, that Manus Labuschagne dropped uh, off Harry Brook, that was a vital one, because mm. if Australia had grabbed that, England would have been around about five for 240. At the end of the day's play, they're four for 278 and trail by only 138. So game's not right back in the balance for me. OK, we'll have to really quickly mention Steve Smith because we thought that was going to be the big story of the day from Australia's perspective before Nathan Lyon did his calf. But uh, a, a, amazing 100 from him. Yeah, he's been terrific, hasn't he, Steve Smith? Quickest man to 32 Test Match 100s. Second quickest man to 9,000 runs uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, just a great performer. One of, the, one of the, obviously, the modern-day greats, averaging over 60 in Test Match cricket. Uh, great to see him. What you can see by his disappointment. Yeah. How, how, he much, how much he loves batting. Still made 110 here at Lords and disappointed to get out. But another 100, another brilliant 100 for Smith. OK, well, it sets up another intriguing day here at Lords. Day three tomorrow.